If you want to annotate on a slide and you want those annotations to become part of it, what I recommend for you to do is you can go here to um, File, and I can download, and I can download this as a PowerPoint. Now, you know, we are, our students are using Chromebooks. We really do recommend that you keep your files in the Google Drive format, so doc sheets and slides. Uh, but for presentation purposes, you might want to consider downloading it as a PowerPoint and then using PowerPoint to present from. Please don't post the PowerPoints in your Schoology classroom. Uh, it's not going to work super well for students, and it's going to it's going to be a little problematic. So uh, you definitely don't want to do that. So I've downloaded this now in my um, in PowerPoint, and then when I present in PowerPoint, let me get this started here. All right, in PowerPoint, this actually put PowerPoint in presentation mode. So over on my uh, screen one over here, I have the presentation mode with the notes and everything like that. And then on my screen two, I actually have um, the presentation. So in my presentation, if I just tap on it lightly, I get controls that I can go back and forth and change my slides. But most importantly on here, I can pick up a pen tool from here using the pen from the board and I can either do a laser pointer so I can point around at things on my board or I can do a pen or a highlighter and then when I go to my next slide it's a new slide. If I go back those annotations are going to stay there on the board. So if you use PowerPoint, you can make annotations. And then when you're done with your presentation, you can save it. And it will save the presentation with those annotations. Um, students can see these in Schoology, but I really don't recommend posting the, um, the PowerPoints uh, in Schoology because Google Drive, Google Docs, Sheets, and Slides work way better for the kids. Okay. All right, so that's just a quick how-to on using the ViewSonic board. And again, not only just using a ViewSonic board, but if you have a second monitor at home that you can connect to your laptop, uh, it gives you a little bit more screen real estate to work with. And then you've got a little bit more um, uh, room to work. Because I know that the uh, laptop displays are a little restrictive for most of what we're doing. So that's what I got for this video. We do have some other training videos on the ViewSonic. There, some of them are coming soon. Some of them are ready now, but they're uh, in process. And I uh, hope you found this useful.